Chronic kidney disease is common in people living with HIV. I'm living with HIV and chronic kidney disease, which runs in my family. I was on dialysis for a couple of years and was very lucky to then have a family kidney donor nearly 10 years ago. Some people have a genetic predisposition for chronic kidney disease, like memory. But the two most important causes of kidney disease are diabetes and high blood pressure. You can lower your risk for these by not smoking, eating a healthy diet and reducing how much alcohol you drink. If your kidney disease is caused by one of these conditions, you will also receive treatment to manage them. Your doctor may also make some changes to your HIV medication or adjust the dosage. That's because kidney damage makes it difficult for the body to remove drugs. And if you are taking any other medication which could contribute to kidney disease, you may also need to change these. But you should get the kidney treatment you need, whether you have HIV or not, including dialysis and kidney transplant. In the beginning, kidney disease often doesn't cause any symptoms. People often only have symptoms at a late stage, for example, swollen ankles or feet, or needing to pee more often. Your HIV clinic will monitor your kidney function regularly to spot any decline as soon as possible. If you have any concerns or symptoms, please speak to your doctor as soon as possible. For more information on HIV and chronic kidney disease, visit AIDSMAP.com.